2008 Lincoln MKZ uh, with it's the serpentine belt which is impossible to get to from the top if you can see down in there um, the serpentine belt is pretty much shot you can see it's got some bad grooving on it so what you got to do is you got to jack the car up make sure you put jack stands as well block off the back pop off the uh, little cap here and all you gotta do is just get a screwdriver put it in pop it off and then these are 19 millimeter um, you just rip them off and then the wheel comes off and to access the belt, you gotta take off these little brackets right here. There are four of these little rubber grommets. Right here is one, here is one, and then back on the other side of the wheel there is one. And there's one, you get that out, and you can already kind of see um, the belts in there, so that's where we're headed. These ones are a little bit different. You gotta um, get a flat head down in here and kind of pry it forward, and then they just come out. Once you get all four of those little bracket pieces off, this whole thing just kind of comes down and around. And then you'll have access to see the belt and take it off. Um, down in there, you can see it. So from the top of the engine, if you come down to the side, you'll see uh, the tensioner at the top. And if you have one of these tools, it's super helpful. And, uh, Going down in here, and you just set it down in it. And once you tension, pull the tensioner back, um, you can get the belt out, you can get it off, and again, this one is pretty messed up. Don't let your belt get this back, because it could leave you stranded. You can just see the grooves, and I think it had to do with another issue with the car. Um, that's in another video with the motor mount for the transmission. This is uh, the new belt number. Um, this is actually from Ford. Um, if you can see the difference in the belt, um, it's quite a bit of the belt has uh, pretty much rubbed off. Um, but they are the same sizes. Um, but again, obviously the new belt is here. The old belt is there. From underneath, the serpentine belt's really a two-person job to make it really easy. Um, whenever you see the threads, they go with the V-belt, um, and it goes up, and the alternator's up there, kind of hard to see, um, and then it comes down, this is your compressor, and your camshaft, crankshaft, and then um, up in there is the belt tensioner, and so, Micah, can you pull in the belt tensioner, if you've still got it connected? Um, when you put that tool in, it'll move this um, back and forth, yeah. And so that's what you're trying to do, and you got to get all these lined up, and then you just slide that over, and then press it on, um, and it should go. And then when you release the tensioner, it will automatically tension itself, because it's an automatic tensioner. And then you just put all of the uh, brackets back on here, uh, tighten your lug nuts down to the proper specs, um, and then put your, wheel, put your wheel on then the lug nuts, and then you're pretty much ready and set to drive again.